Hi folks, my name is Johan Cruz. I'm an industry specialist here at Google Cloud and today I'm coming to you from Sydney, Australia. With me I've got Kieran Hennessy, who's the Chief Software Architect at Lendlease Digital. Uh, Kieran, do you want to say hi? G'day from Australia, everybody. <laughs> G'day. So Lendlease is an integrated property investment group. They've been around since the 60s and they're known for shaping cities and creating connected communities. Now they're innovating in the digital space with a platform called Podium to provide the property industry with data and insights. Let's start by talking briefly about Podium. What are you building and uh, and why is sustainability so important to everything you're doing? Well, thanks for the opportunity to talk to everybody. Um, so let me talk a little bit about Podium. So um, for us at Lend Lease, one of the things that we've been really focused on for a long time is understanding how digital can be brought into the property and construction um, mode. For a long time, we've had very fragmented technology, very fragmented processes. So one of the things that we are trying to build with Podium is literally a platform to enable property construction and investment. So in the property world, the Podium is the first thing that you build from a physical perspective. And it's the thing that all the rest of the value sits on top of. So, you know, the tower, the basement, those sort of things. So for us, Podium is literally a digital platform to enable not only the way that property and construction works now, but to transform the way that it will work into the future. All based around data, all based around um, looking at the next generation of how we construct, the next generation of how we operate and measure um, the property and construction process, but also real world buildings. So it's a bit about how do you design buildings? It's a bit about how you construct buildings and it's a bit about how you operate those as you go through the past and how these things sort of come together into a virtuous circle. So for us, we're expecting it to really help lend lease in the way that it sort of drives its business. But we're also looking at how we can help the rest of the industry, our peers, um, our customers and our competitors and the supply chain. So for us, Podium becomes not only a platform, but also an ecosystem of players as well. And it's one of the things we're excited about working with Google, um, not only as just a partner to help us build the technology on top of, but also a partner to help us explore some interesting, innovative and new ways of working in the industry. Now, sustainability is an important topic across all industries, but what does this mean to Lendlease and Podium in particular? Well, sustainability is a really, um, it's a really important topic for us. Um, you know, when you look at uh, a lot of industries around the world, there's a lot that can, um, a lot can be done, particularly from a property perspective, to focus on how you can make things more sustainable. And when we think about sustainability, we think about it in three ways. So there's the, the, the environmental sustainability that everybody's familiar with, but there's also economic and social sustainability as well. So for us, it's a wider topic. Now, as an organisation, Lendlease is very focused on um, a lot of the um, carbon net neutral, the 1.5% aligned um, objectives that uh, a lot of the uh, industrialised countries in the world are following. And for us, we think that we can make a pretty significant impact in that because a lot of environmental sustainability comes from, um, you know, how much carbon is being consumed and embedded in the environment. So when we think about sustainability, a lot of it's around, well, how do you actually measure both the outcome, but also those positive sort of um, steps that you take around those. When you think about the built world, so particularly property, um, it consumes a, t a ton of environmental um, load. So from air conditioning to energy for buildings, for you know the carbon that's embedded in concrete, from the waste which is produced when you demolish buildings. So being able to look at these, being able to understand what the impact is, and actually being able to identify what are the real actions and outcomes that can be taken to help to reduce that is a really important sort of outcome for us because you know it's not just about um neutralizing the carbon so it's not just about saying you know we've generated a million tons of carbon therefore we want a million offset it's about actually reducing the real impact of that and so that's one of the things that we're looking at over that time and for us we're just not thinking about the way that our product um, is measured. We're also thinking about the way our organization runs. And, you know, that intrinsically goes to things like, you know, how do we operate our business? How do we run our digital technology? And how do we sort of embed sustainability as a primary factor into the way that we build 
um, you know, our digital solutions, but also our corporate technology that we use to operate our business. And this is where Google Cloud comes in as a really well-aligned partner for us, not just around Google's um, corporation alignment towards the sustainability values that we also believe in, but also the tools and the models and the services that we can get out of Google Cloud to help us measure these things. You know, a prime example is around, you know, the openness of Google to be able to provide information around the sustainability factors of running infrastructure in their data centers. Because this is all factors that can be rolled into this. You know, a lot of the things around sustainability is you can't really do anything about it until you can accurately really measure the real sort of position where you are. So clearly data is important to your sustainability goals. How do you see Google Cloud products like BigQuery and Vertex AI playing into what you're trying to achieve? Well, one of the, the things that's really interesting about data, and particularly in the property um, and construction industry, is huge amounts of data are produced on a daily basis. Um, but that data is handled very poorly. And it's actually not understood um, really what the value of it is in the the, the sort of the, the end-to-end process, which happens across property and construction. So, you know, you think about the type of data that's produced, you know, you've got design data, which is, you know, highly unstructured. You've got um, financial data or cost data, which indicates the type of materials which are created within the property and construction process. You've got marketing fees. You've got the cost of, um, you know, fit outs of buildings. You've got the labor cost. You've got supply chain costs. And then at the end of it, you've also got the data which is produced by buildings, right? So, you know, in most modern buildings built in the last, you know, 10 to 15 years, nearly everything produces a data stream from air conditioning to lights to doors. Um, The amount of data is quite overwhelming. But one of the challenges that's been particularly in property and construction is because the process is so fragmented, because each industry is really about doing part of the process and then handing over between those. There's no connected um, thinking around how data is used from the imagining of a building through the operating. And this is where some of the things that we're doing around Podium and um, come into play because we're thinking about capturing that data um, from end to end. And this is where Google Cloud, with their real focus on, you know, not just being a cloud service provider, but a cloud service provider that data is at the core of, right? So one of the things that we've been quite impressed with um, when we're looking at Google Cloud is how, you know, the ingestion, the handling, the management, the transformation and the enhancement and the analysis of data is right at the core of a lot of the services that are in Google. Um, The way that, you know, particularly, uh, you know, data pipelines and big query flows together in a really seamless way, the way that Vertex AI sits on top of those services, the way that you can sort of... um, really quickly and easily create these type of data um, experiences and outcome becomes very important because our philosophy around looking at data across the value chain is that there are some interesting things that are hidden there which are opaque to everybody at the moment because the journey is not connected. So for us, it's not just about collecting that data and understanding the things that are at the surface of it, right? The operationalization of it. It's about us having the tools to be able to dig in and find the value that's sort of fallen between the cracks. And this is where, you know, the democratization of ML that we can see happening through some of the Vertex AI toolkit, um, the way that you can now um, bring, you know, the subject matter expertise of people who aren't necessarily data scientists to the fore and bring that through a process becomes really important because it enables us to look at data and discover those insights which we think can actually help move the dial on, you know, making buildings more sustainable, more, um, you know, more personalised, more operationally efficient and enable us to understand, well, what do the buildings of the future need to look like as well? And this is really one of those things which is at the core of Podium, right? How do we look at what the world is now? How do we sort of understand where there's ways to improve in a way that is pragmatic and realistic? And then how do we apply those to the buildings of the future and the properties of the future. Wonderful. And and where else do you see your partnership with Google Cloud helping in these areas? Well, look, one of the things that's really um, valuable about our partnership with Google Cloud is um, it's not just about, you know, the, the services and stuff that we can get from Google Cloud. It's also about the 
the way that um, Google thinks about products, the way that Google thinks about, um, you know, sustainability, uh, even in their own in, in internal organization as well. So the way that Google thinks about the improvement of energy efficiency in data centers, the way that Google thinks about, um, you know, how can you supplement, uh, you know, PV and other alternative energy sources into providing that? The way that Google looks for opportunities to move the dial on that and improve is a really important part for us. Um, one of the things about property and construction is that it's a very, it's an industry which is well um, embedded in the ways that things work, right? So people have been building effectively since the pyramids and construction technology really hasn't changed too much since then, to be brutally honest, right? You're digging a hole, you're putting bricks on top of bricks, you're adding concrete. There's a few modern flares that have been added around that. You know, there's a bit of robotics, there's a bit of improvement, there's a bit of industrialization. But effectively, the process hasn't changed hugely. And so having a partner that enables us to think differently around the problems that we've been grappling with for decades is a really important part of that relationship. And, you know, for us, we're looking for partners who are aligned both to our goals around sustainability, but also around our goals to make uh, impactful change in the way that our business works. And for us, Google Cloud um, is a company that isn't afraid to experiment and innovate and fail and pivot and then move on. And that's a really important factor for us as well. So talking about the pyramids being constructed, safety's been, a, uh, I guess, a challenge ever since then, and it's a priority for Lendlease. What role do you see technology playing in the safety of people? Look, safety is a really important thing. Um, we talk a lot internally um, about safety. It's our number one priority. It's one of the things that we you know, talk about uh, constantly because you want to be vigilant about it. And construction, unfortunately, is one of those industries where it is still highly likely that people will get um, injured if they're in the wrong place at the wrong time. And so for us, one of the, the levers that we're really interested in using and we're already experimenting with is to try and think about how we can use technology to avoid people being in the wrong place. So 99% of the time, injuries happen because people are not in the place that they should be. And so, you know, some of the things we're looking at uh, in the Google stack around um, the vision AI, which enables us to identify where things are where they shouldn't be, um, to understand, you know, about uh, the simulation of how people move around construction sites or shopping centers or precincts to make sure that we are um, predictively aware of where we need to reduce risk of injuries happening it becomes really important. But again, it's back to data because one of the things that becomes really interesting is if you can engineer risk out of these type of physical locations before it even arrives. So you can build a place which is risk-free and which is injury-free. So a prime example of this is, is we're experimenting a lot around um, wooden construction. And one of the benefits of wooden construction is that you reduce a lot of the things which cause injury. So, you know, saws and hot welding and, can, you know, big holes and things like that. And when you can engineer a building to a point where it's literally like assembling Lego and putting pieces together, you're reducing a lot of the risk of people being um, critically injured in that. You know, people might still bang their finger, but, you know, that's less of a problem than, you know, if there's some sort of other critical incident. And so for us, it's understanding, you know, the data, looking for those opportunities for us to build new ways of construction and new ways of organising construction sites to just make it that people don't have to worry about safety. It's just a thing that doesn't exist anymore and that we've engineered it out of the process. And I mean, this is where, you know, a lot of the conversations that we have with, um, you know, our partners at Google really help because for, for them, understanding how you can highly automate and you can engineer these things out of the process is part of their business model. It's part of how, you know, they moved from, you know, having to have people touching servers and going to sites to this really high level of automation and reducing the need for people to do that. That's a really attractive process for us because if we take people out of harm's way and if we enable those people to actually focus on high value work, you know, creating the best places for people to be able to experience, that becomes super valuable to us as an organization. And it's all about the data and it's all about understanding the patterns in the data and understanding how you can use those to make change to the process. Fantastic. 
Now, clearly, Lendley's Digital, you're quite advanced and mature in your thinking about digital and sustainability. What advice would you give to other companies who are just starting that journey? Well, I think that's a, uh, it's a very nice thing to say that we're mature. I think we're still on a pretty long journey. Um, I mean, we've, we've sort of been thinking about this really seriously for about two years now. I think a lot of the lessons um, that we've learnt um, are very applicable to others as well. I mean, a lot of it's around making sure that when you are, when you're going down a digital journey, you need to be very focused on um, thinking in a different way, right? Most corporate IT uh, divisions are very well practiced in the whole process of a waterfall style implementation, right? High levels of requirements, high levels of, you know, um, process, high levels of sort of risk management. And then it's just about executing that process. But when you're starting to think about digital transformation and product, there's a whole lot of things you need to allow yourself to think about, right? Um, you need to think about that journey. You need to think about the incremental steps. You need to allow yourself to experiment and fail and um, celebrate the failures because they help you on the journey. Um, one of the things I always like to think a bit about is there's an episode of South Park, which is a really good indication of, you know, that thinking around, um, you know, strategy through to execution, which is the underpant gnomes, which I'm sure everybody's familiar with, right? You know, the whole concept of that is they have step one, collect underpants. They've got step three, which is profit. But they haven't really thought about the journey in between those two, right? Step two, what are you doing? And that's really where the magic of sort of digital transformation and product development sits, right? It's about that step two. You understand where you are. You have a good understanding of where you want to be. And how do you get there? And it's it's about it's about thinking about that journey in lots and lots of like smaller steps, but each of those steps provide value. And it's about making sure that you're understanding what your customers are interested in, because you've got to give yourself permission to also be wrong. Um, everybody's a subject matter expert, um, but at the end of the day, it's about the people who are going to use your product and consume it and love it and hopefully give you money for it as well. And so making sure that you're um, mature enough to take that feedback in the way that it is, is a really important step of that journey. And then one of the other points as well is, is to make sure you have a partner which shares your level of, um, level of acceptance of experimentation and failure, right? You don't want to have a partner who's going to go, well, we, we went down this path and, you know, we, we didn't really get the outcome we wanted to, so we're out. Right? You need someone who's there for the long run, who understands that experimentation and pivoting is not about failure, it's just part of the journey. And I mean, that's the big advice that I'd be giving anyone, is to accept that you are going to make mistakes, accept that you're going to have to change your direction. And that's fine, because that's part of the journey of creating a product in the deference of doing a software project or a delivery or some sort of digital transformation. Thank you so much, Kieran. Thanks for joining us. And thanks so much for the uh, underpants known reference. I love it. Always a pleasure. And uh, thanks, everybody, for listening to us. Thanks, everyone.